Member for Richmond South Centre. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. May it childcare month, and I want to start with a huge thank you to all the BC childcare professionals. I know firsthand the different childcare professionals make in the lives of families. My wife and I toured Aspire Richmond's seedling childcare site earlier this year. We shared our fears and concerns with the ideas of leaving our daughter in someone else's care. The staff acknowledged and validated our concerns and thoroughly reassured us with their professional knowledge. We were exceptionally impressed. Throughout this challenging time, childcare has remained a vital service for families and communities. Childcare helps parents, especially mothers, return to work and pursue opportunities. That's why we are delivering on commitment to ensure childcare is a core service available to every family that wants it, that when they need it, at a price they can afford. Parents in my community of Richmond have seen more than $55 million in direct savings since the launch of our plan. As we enter our fifth year, I'm proud of our progress. Parents are saving up to $1,600 a month per child through our affordability initiatives, and thousands more are paying $10 a day or less in our $6,500 $10 a day site. With the federal government, we will nearly double the $10 a day space by $1,250 by December. We have funded more than 35,500 new childcare spaces and will work with our federal partners to more than double this by March 2028. Early childhood educators are the heart of childcare. We invested in ECE recruitment and retention, including bursaries, training, and professional development support, and are enhancing ECE compensation by $4 per hour. There's more work to do, but we're committed to work with all the partners to make childcare a core service for BC families. Please join me in celebrating Childcare Month by thanking the childcare professionals for the incredible work they do each and every day.